Good evening, everybody. Buckeye Piper here. Coming at ya. <clears throat> With my good friend, Bo. Chilling on the deck. Happy Friday or Thursday. Uh, it's been a terrible week. Absolutely horrible week. If it could go wrong this week, it went wrong. Makes you question every decision you make, everything you do. Uh, not at a personal level, but at a work level. Just hate weeks like this. Systems are busted. Mutton customers down. It's no good. We were really, really on two-thirds capacity for two days, which is just a death sentence. For anybody that's in logistics, you know you can't get time back. Losing 15 minutes in a day hurts. Losing hours and hours in a day is devastating. But anyhow, I'll work some tomorrow, take Sunday off, then go back to work Monday, and I guess work whenever. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But, happy to have a job. So anyhow... Asked Mrs. Buckeye, pick me out my most angry pipe. I'm angry pipe smoking tonight, which probably doesn't go hand in hand. This is supposed to be a relaxing hobby. She said, get the red one. I said, you mean the Dracula? She said, yeah, that one's angry. So that's the Peterson 999 Dracula. I'll smoke this bad boy a lot once we get to Halloween. I did pick me up, although I, I don't think they're the sharpest pipe that I've ever seen, but I did pick up um, a 320 St. Nick from Savinelli this year. I do like the black and red contrast. That's going to be my holiday pipe. This will be my, thing, or my uh, Halloween and fall pipe. As, as you could probably guess, it has Northwoods in it. Just opened a new tin. Uh, was able to procure a few pounds of it to stash for the upcoming tobacco apocalypse. Or to smoke. It'll take me 10 years to smoke two pounds of tobacco. I tell you what, I don't smoke that much, but I enjoy it, everybody. And I like to gift some and dabble and trade and things of that nature. Anyhow, why did I call you all here tonight? You know, why did, why did I call this meeting of uh, fellow like-minded individuals, ladies and gentlemen? Well, wanted to do what my good friend Curmudgeon calls a you'll be all right. And that's a yabo, yabo, yabo do. So I'm not going to show... Where it came from. Adult Production Video Facilities, Hollywood, California. This isn't a Yabo. This is no, I'm just kidding, everybody. Um, my good friend Luke, Luke Reisner, uh, great guy, fellow Buckeye. <clears throat> Uh, serving our country in the in, in the uh, in, in the Marines, I won't hold that against him. You know, being a Navy guy, I'll tell my my couple quick Navy jokes. Luke, you know what Marine stands for, right? My ass rides in Navy equipment. The other good one that us squids like to say is muscles are required, intelligence not as not essential. But in all seriousness. Strong brotherhood between the Navy and the Army always has, or Navy and the Marines always has been. Um, the Marine Corps is actually part of the Department of the Navy. Their paychecks say Department of the Navy. Um, so, you know, sailors and 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 uh, sailors and soldiers in the uh, Marines have always given each other crap for years, but it's okay. 
you know, anywhere within the brother sisterhood, giving each other crap of any of the armed forces, it's okay. But let me tell you, the wrong person says the wrong thing, pick it on the wrong branch, and you'd have a melee because every branch would jump in. So it's okay for the branches to do amongst each other. That's kind of the camaraderie and just what we do. Uh, but if you didn't serve, I wouldn't recommend doing it. You know, just wouldn't. But anyhow, my good friend Luke um, has a new baby on the way. Has a beautiful daughter. He had a lovely wife. And, uh, you know, does a great job with this channel, man. He puts out some great content almost daily. Thought-provoking and uh, just a good dude. I, you know, I can't tell you. We've Him and I have had some conversations on our house party that have been fantastic. You know, me from the perspective of how boot camp and stuff was in the early 90s, heck, the loop probably was barely born, wasn't born in, in some aspects. And then him, him being able to share how it's changed and morphed to here most recently in the last five, ten years. So I really appreciate that, Luke, and I appreciate your friendship, man. It means a lot to me. Um, so anyhow, let's see what Luke sent. You know, I was thinking about this the other day. I always have wondered if somebody, and I'm doing this live, uh, it's unopened, so if there's a skeleton in here, I, I won't know, but I always wondered if anybody in the YTPC pranks somebody and put something in there, you know, just something <laughs> that uh, would be embarrassing and they pull it out or something. Would that be funny or uncool? I would say uncool. And I'm sure Luke didn't do that. But Anyhow, Kershaw Speed Assist opening. Hey, got a little gurgle in the pipe. I see that question a lot on pipe forums. Hey, how do I stop a gurgle? Use a pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner is your best friend. I use them uh, pretty much on every smoke. All right, Luke, let's see what we got, brother. That was unsafe. I just cut toward me. Did it again. Uh-oh. All right, <clears throat> and I don't do a lot of these, but I do them for fun. Holy sample heaven. Don't know where to start. Well, let's just start at the top. So I probably won't take everything out and sniff it right now just for the sake of time. Unless something really, and I lied. So GL Peace Abington, never had it. Awesome sample. I bet you there's an ounce there. That's more than a sample, brother. C and D Bluegrass. Nice little sample of that. Thanks, Luke. Never had either one of those. Ah, kind of a bag here of what I would call odds and ends. Tools essential to be a pipe smoker. I'm going to have to look this one up. Looks like a bottle opener and a different special operations group kind of a multi purpose tool. Oh, how cool is this! A really nice looking Winchester pocket knife. I really dig it because it's got that old kind of scrim. It's, it's not scrimshaw, but it has that scrimshaw kind of feeling to it. And uh, being an old Navy guy, I really love stuff like that. Super cool, man. Thank you. I think it's pretty, pretty wicked looking, but uh, yeah, I'll put it, I'll figure it out. Oh, wow. Live ammunition. Can't go. No, I'm just kidding. 
Nice. Tamper. Obviously, no, uh, no primer in there, so you're 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 not going to fire that. Trying to read. Huh, interesting. I'll use that. If I blow my head off, Luke. It's your fault. Oh, very cool. Challenge coin. And this is a, a Marine Corps challenge coin. Um, these things are so cool when you're in the service. You know, um, you could use them for many things, from buying a drink to flipping a coin at the bar and who has got the most challenge coins. These things get rare and unique and super, super expensive. But challenge coins are so cool. So you pick them up for different things in different places you've been. Like I said, I, I've won and lost many a drink at the uh, at the local bar via the challenge coin, and uh, just fun to have around. Just fun to have around. My current company, we give a challenge coin away to who we call a safety crusader, and if they carry it in their pocket during the day, and one of the senior senior uh, regional vice presidents is in town visiting. He or she may ask, hey, do you have your Safety Crusader? As I introduce them, I always introduce them as a Safety Crusader, right? Because they, they've earned it. And they'll say, hey, do you got your coin on you? And if they do, they'll buy them a drink. Coke. But it's still cool. A lifetime time supply of matches. Thank you. You know, I was wanting to get some matches the other day. I just like how they sound and, and all that good jazz. Looks like we got a little bro note in here. You can almost read through that, couldn't you? And I'm gonna embarrass Luke and read it out loud. John, I I just want you to know you're one of my most favorite people in all the world. I really don't know how you only have 400 subs. Your channel's amazing, and you should be in the three to four million sub range. Um, you make people smile, and you do a great job, and uh, always have a pleasant video. Just kidding. It didn't say any of that, but very well thought of, Luke. Appreciate the sentiment, my friend. Uh-oh. A little bit of king cake. Never had it. Very nice. Very nice. Uh oh. I don't think we're done yet. What is this? Oh no. Luke, you outdid yourself, my friend. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, man. You didn't have to do this. Um, it's a Stanwell Rook. Look at this thing. Just freaking amazing. I love this thing. I love the different, the different patterns on it. I will definitely be smoking this... I love my saddle bits too. But look at this, man. Look, just. That is just fantastic, sir. You did not have to do that. But much appreciated, my friend. Much appreciated. Make sure you didn't sneak nothing else in on me there. Quite the box. Quite the box. I would not use your base postal service anymore. Just to put it in perspective. We both shipped the box the same day. Uh, I shipped one to Luke that got there pretty fast. But I sh also shipped multiple boxes that day. One to the United Kingdom. Uh, the box to the United Kingdom beat the box from, from Jacksonville, North Carolina to Mont Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Luke's about two hours from me. We probably could have just met in the middle. But we got the box uh, across the pond and in... in, in uh, Northeast UK Piper's hands. His box came in a day before. Um, isn't that wild? And I'm not saying that to pick or anything, Luke. I just think that's just funny. Um, you know, how, how 
man, we could get something shipped across the pond and uh, something down the street. Eh. Thanks, brother. Much appreciated, man. Much appreciated. I'll put this challenge coin with my other ones. I really dig this little pocket knife. I'm going to throw this in the truck. This would be perfect for just everyday stuff in the truck. This guy, evil looking guy, I'll figure him out. He's got a lot of cool tools on him and different things to use. So, probably put that on the backpack. Well done. Thanks, Luke. I really appreciate it, man. And I know I got a little winded there on a Yabo video, but anyhow, Luke, thank you so much, brother. Uh, every gift, you know, is cherished and appreciated and, and just a blessing, a true blessing. Um, thank you. If you guys have not subscribed to Luke's channel, get over there and give him some sub love. The guy works his butt off. Let me use one of his matches on the live air see if i can do it the guy works his butt off to put out some really good content he truly does and he truly cares about oh hell you might have just converted me to matches that was really nice i've never never lit a pipe with a match that was nice man Anyhow, check Luke out. Give him some sub. Get to know him. Hell of a guy. Um, that's it for me tonight. Probably going to jump over to house party maybe for a minute or two before I go to bed. Uh, not drinking the brown water tonight. Just drinking the other brown water and straight water. But y'all, y'all take care of each other. Pay it forward when you can. I'm wishing you all the blessings in the world out there, you know. Stay safe above everything else and take care of those that you, that, that you love and that depend on you. Really take care of them. Because right? at the end of the day, <clears throat> they're, all the, they're all what matter. Jobs come and go. Cars come and go. Houses come and go. Bills will come and go. Families for life. Take care of them. Uh, you know, God bless y'all. We'll catch you next time. Have a great night.